Hey, this is Shay with ShayRebsky.com and today I want to talk to you about autopilot and being on autopilot in your life. Have you ever noticed that you, this is something that I actually noticed for myself, where you're just driving or let's say you live in a bigger city and you have a subway or busing system that you use. You're just walking to the bus or the subway system and you're just walking on autopilot. You're driving on autopilot and you're not really consciously aware of what's going on around you. You're just really on, literally, I don't even have a better word to say it other than being on autopilot. And I found that I, when I was driving to pick up the kids from school, like I was in a whole different world. And um, I like, I clicked on my turning signal. And I think that just the movement of my hand like shook me out of it. I'm like, oh my God, you're getting ready to turn. You're not really I mean, I was paying attention, obviously, I could see with my eyes, but I wasn't consciously aware or present as I was doing this. And it makes me wonder, like, what other aspects or areas of our life are we pulling into this just being on autopilot, doing the bare minimum it takes to get by without really being present and lit up and fired, lit up and on fire? You know what I mean? Just ready to go in our regular lives to, to just... Bring out our fullest potential, if that makes sense. And one of the things that I want you to ask yourself is, when has there been a time where I haven't been present, that I've just been on autopilot? And I listed out a few different things when I did that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, my that's not how I want to be living. I want to be totally present. I want to be fully engaged. I want to feel the feels, sense the senses, laugh the laughs. Like when I'm with my family, when I'm with my friends, when I'm with my clients, like fully breathing into being with them. And sometimes I just don't do that. Have you noticed that too? Um, one of the things that I've been doing more and more to help me kind of get aware of how I'm doing things, how I'm acting, how I'm showing up, is I'm asking myself this question. How would I be if I was being from my highest self? And my mentor, Brendan Burchard, actually asks this question in a different way. But like, if I'm in the living room with my kids, how would I be if I was coming from my highest self, if I was bringing it from my highest just most excited self. And the question he asks is, how would I respond if I was responding from my highest self? So really taking the time to think about how are you showing up? What are you bringing to the table? If every day you lived at the highest version of yourself, how would you show up? Now, before you're like, oh my God, I have bad days. I wake up grumpy, all of this. Ah! I know, I do too. There are days where I wake up where I'm like, do not talk to me. Do not look at me unless you want a few choice words. <laughs> that, <laughs> because if you want those words, I'll give them to you. But more, but as you start building out your life, as you start really taking the time to think about how you want to show up, like, how are you being? Even if it's just a few minutes a day, even if it's just that one time, really start getting yourself in the frame of mind of asking that question once a day. Then as once you nail it for once a day, ask it twice a day, set an alarm for three times a day. And then eventually, before you react to something, before you realize that you're on autopilot, before you realize that you're just kind of doing the motions just because, you'll start being more consciously aware. Like when I'm playing with my children, when I'm playing a game with them, I purposely move my phone away from me. Uh, like I, if we're listening to music, I'll leave it on the couch if we're on the floor, we're on, if we're doing a dance party. Like I will consciously take any of the obstacles from me being present so I can be in that moment with them. So really think about that. So my questions, two questions, actually one question is, um, when are, when have there been times where you haven't been, oh, when, when you've just been on autopilot and really think about like what was going through your mind, how you were reacting or not acting at all. And then my next thing is set a timer every day at the same time, just so you can get acclimated to asking yourself this question. How would I act? 
how would I respond if I were, and I'll, well, I'll do Brendan's first. How would I respond if I was responding from my highest self? How would I be if I was being from my highest self? How would I show up? What would I do differently? What would my attitude be? What? Okay, so that's a lot of questions, but I'm just giving you examples of some of the things you can be thinking about when you're asking yourself these questions. Like, um, what would my personality style be? Would I be more giggly? Would I be more, what, just, would I be more present? Would I be more happy? Would I be more bubbly? Um, like, just really think about that as you are starting to be more consciously aware. Did you have any ahas? I really hope that this helped. Um, comment below. Uh, let me know if you're watching this on Facebook. I would love a thumbs up. I would love a share. If you're watching this on YouTube, you still can do thumbs up. <laughs> and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel where we go over business mindset and marketing tips every Tuesday and Friday. And um, adding in a little personal development so you can be more consciously aware of how you're moving forward. Again, this is Shay with ShayRubsky.com and I'm sending you so much love. I cannot wait to hear the ahas you've had as well. Bye. Have a great day.